hi guys okay I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing and uh, the first few unboxing there's no boxes I already opened them and the reason there's no unboxing is because I uh, videoed the whole thing showed the whole unboxing of everything and then found out I had no SD card in the camera I've done that a couple times idiot anyways I'll have to show you what they are then so the first one I've already got up and mounted in the van let me just see if I can get that it's that little string of lights all the way around they're called fairy lights they're like Christmas tree lights I guess uh, we've got the um, warm white then we have a blue and the two lights together make white and then it does all kinds of flashing okay that's number one another item I got which is already installed also is um, this here for inside outside temperature and gives me the uh, relative humidity and a clock so you can see right now it's 16 degrees inside 14 degrees outside and 66 percent humidity and that's already installed the wire is just hanging here through the door um, I just pinch it in the door and then put that up on a hook so that's the second item another item I got was uh, the Z grip this thing here on the bottom level I put uh, an SELR camera my big Canon camera I put that down there on the top you can put like um, a light a microphone or what have you for that or you can put your um, action camera or a, a smartphone up on top there and it's just a, a grip that you walk along it stabilizes your video a lot more and what comes with that is um, little adapters for the um, action camera and an adapter for your smartphone plug that in that's that another item I got was this one here I need two hands for this this here a gimbal for the smartphone gimbal for smartphone and uh, um, action camera again so it comes out like so when you lock it down in this position here when it's turned on it actually glow goes into a sleep mode and uh, you can still have it on then when you unsnap it from that position it uh, comes alive again and it's ready to go the big knob on the side here is cool what that does is in zoom mode it'll zoom your cell phone your smartphone in and out or it will also um, uh, focus in the focus mode it'll focus far and near and then the other buttons what have you we'll go through that on another um, on another video and I'll do like a, a review on the item and see what it's what it works like see if it's any good I've tried it out already it seems to work pretty good really good actually so I put this back in the box ah, I don't quite know how that goes there yet oh yeah the um, it has this adapter to put an action camera in it so I can run an action camera or uh, a smartphone in the in the gimbal okay on to the bigger item this one I'm excited about 
so I can actually do the unboxing of this one. And yes, this one came from China, and I am super excited about this one. It is a uh, glow plug heater, much different than your um, propane heater. Now, here in Vancouver, you don't really need too much of a heater all the time, and I was using a propane heater, the, the Martin. looks like a body heater but uh, it does everybody's fighting moisture in the air and when you do need a heater um, just to get the air a little bit warmer there uh, there's always too much moisture so this heater has absolutely no moisture whatsoever because it burns um, diesel gasoline um, vegetable oil anything that's combustible it'll burn it's very efficient it does use uh, a bit of power to get started once it's going it, it backs off and that's a very good power this is the the tank for it 10 liter tank that mounts on the wall and the uh, hose comes out the bottom And here is a muffler that's on the exhaust. So we have uh, fresh air intake, uh, exhaust out, which goes, uh, you have to drill two holes in your vehicle to port them out the bottom. And that's the size of the holes, like just that small, two small holes like that. And then the hot air just takes air from, um, like I said, from the outside, circulates it through. And uh, here's the plate where the two holes are in. Can, that's a mounting plate. Put that on the floor, two holes, where the two hoses go out. And uh, I guess, I don't know what that is, a gas line or something. So there's that. The instruction book. Oh, the cable connectors, the uh, air filter, uh, fuel filter, screws, nuts, bolts, all that sort of thing in there. Um, the rubber fuel line, the wiring, and I'll do videos on the installation and how this thing works. And exhaust tubing, fresh air inlet tubing. A vent, a multi-directional vent, you can turn that to what, whatever way you want it to vent, Just stick it in a hole in a port, I've already got holes in, the, in here so I might as well even use those for that, for that, and extra extra tubing where this would go into like so and the unit goes on here and blows your hot air and this is strictly just hot air it's not uh, heating via the uh, propane and then this is the actual unit itself here
And here we have the fuel pump. Pump fuel in. It has a small remote and then a wall mount um, digital display readout. So I can be laying in bed in the morning and start it and turn it off from in bed. <laughs> and then the unit. Oh. Online this unit looks red. It's like a real bright red, it's like a pink. And here's the bottom where you have the exhaust, the intake, the power cable to run it, and the exhaust end, and the inlet end where the fan is. And we should be able to remove the end cap. So, pop the top right off, and that's what it looks like on the inside. This would be the glow plug, which fi fire is happening in here, and a fan, this fan here, just blows through here and blows the hot air out this end, your hot air exhaust. So, very cool, very efficient, and very cheap compared to uh, a Wabasto, say, or um, a Propex type heaters. Those are the same kind of heaters. They burn an alternate fuel, like propane, and then they um, use just the air for, for uh, to heat up your, your vehicle. So much better. Anyway, those are the packages that I got and um, beautiful. I can't wait to get started on this thing. And I have yet to put my solar up. On, I'll show you that too. I've got a new solar panel I've purchased and um, it's a 300 watt unit. I have a 100 watt unit up there right now at the moment but um, the 300 watt is huge very large compared to the the one I have up there like two and a half times the size so I have a friend next door here to me that's going to help me get it up there I just have a real difficult time getting the old one off uh, I use this tape VHB tape uh, very high bond tape it's called by 3M now that stuff is strong. I recommend that to anyone uh, wanting to put solar up on their roof that doesn't want to drill holes. My God, this is strong stuff. And I've had mine up there for, uh, well, since uh, eight months, I think, and no problems whatsoever. I actually have a problem getting it off. I can't get it off. I've peeled the um, uh, other tape that I had on there, the... Uh, Dicor type tape and uh, the the uh, 3M VHB tape is underneath the um, the Z brackets that the, the the panel is mounted on. I can't I don't know how to get underneath there. I might use like a fishing line or something and like a saw to cut it off. Or uh, once I get it off, I don't even know how I can get the the residue off the uh, roof there they do make a uh, an agent to to release it but huh, I don't know where to get that stuff for one thing and uh, for another how do you get it underneath the the Z bracket I can see it taking it off once it's once you've got it off and removing the residue but uh, how to release it completely so anyways uh, this is the unboxing uh, part was one was an unboxing, the others were unboxed already. And like I said, what happened there was the, the uh, I 
tape videotaped everything doing the unboxing and uh, explaining all about my what I got and then I find out I got no SD card in the camera so uh, I was taping absolutely nothing so now we'll get to editing this and put it up online thanks guys